Hi everyone! Today I'm finally going to be showing you what I bought when I was in Krakow in Poland. Um, there's quite a few things so I might just show them quickly if I can and not babble on too much. And then if there's anything you want to know more about just ask in the comments and I'll try to answer there or I'll make a video about it. But yeah, I'll try to stick to that but you know me. Keep talking, don't I? <laughs> um, firstly, I'll show you the one item of clothing that I bought because um, the rest of it is makeup, to be honest. Um, I got it from New Yorker and it is a peplum top, uh, a lace peplum top. Um, there you can see the peplum. Oh, this colour is not really showing up the way it's. Uh, it's in real life because this is showing up very red on the camera, but this is more like a raspberry red uh, leaning towards pink um, So yeah, that color is not really true um, At least not what it looks like in the monitor while I'm filming. Um, anyways, that was um, 60 slotty which is about um, about 12 pounds, I think Although it does have a, a UK price there, which is twelve ninety nine, so I suppose that was, that is what it would cost in the UK. Um, all right, um, I got a few boring items like some dry shampoo, just because I thought I didn't bring mine and I needed it, so I bought one. And um, this is by Schwarzkopf, um, just says cotton fresh dry shampoo. Um, it's all right. Um, I also needed a nail polish remover while I was there because I painted my nails before I went and I thought it was going to last uh, the whole time. Uh, on the first day I bought something in a shop, quite heavy stuff, uh, including loads of nail polish and then the bottle or the bag broke and it fell on the floor and one bottle of nail polish cracked on top of like loads of the makeup that I bought and including like my fingers and stuff when I was trying to clean up so my fingers were covered in like dark blue uh, greenish nail polish <laughs> and they went my nail polish but I needed this anyway to um, clean off all the damage <laughs> so some of these things look a bit weird because they have been cleaned with nail polish remember this is one from Yves Rocher um, I don't know it works all right but I haven't used this since so um I don't know if it's good or not. Um, I from a, a drugstore there called Douglas, which I think is from Germany. I got this uh, facial beauty water. Um, it's a really large can. Um, this is probably just water in a spray can. It feels really nice though to just spray your face with it. And I thought, especially in summer, this is probably going to be like lovely. Uh, it's also good to use like um, after you've powdered your face if you tend to get like a powdery look to your face um, that doesn't really look very nice uh, you can just spray a bit of water on and um, it'll take away that just like anything like MAC Fix Plus would do uh, from that same range I got these uh, like this one is called like extra large uh, facial beauty water and these are called extra small uh, and they had big ones of these as well um, but I just got the mini ones because I just wanted to try them. Uh, this is a gentle eye makeup remover, which is like a two, two face one with oil and water uh, combination. Um, I only brought wipes to remove my makeup when I was there and they weren't doing a good job at all. So um, I just needed a new one. Uh, I also got uh, the purifying cleansing water just because I was curious because I like cleansing waters. I like the Bioderma one and I like the Caudalie one. Um, and I wanted to get a full size of this because it was 400 millilitres and it was quite cheap. Uh, it was really cheap actually, but I thought I can't because I've got some, um, I've got several bottles of Bioderma left. So um, yeah, I just got a little one. If I go back, I'll get the big one, I think. Um, some makeup stuff. Uh, this is from Kobo Professional. It's called Glossy Lips and um, it's just a gloss um, in a jar. <laughs> Not very hygienic, but um, quite nice, quite moisturising. Uh, the colour isn't perfect for me, there wasn't any testers there, so I just grabbed one. Um, from um, Catrice, which is a, a German brand, 
I got three uh, eyeshadows. The first one is called uh, I Like to Mauve It, which is a mauve colour. Um, these are quite nice. I like them. This is how the container is supposed to look like. I don't know how much you can see that. But the one I spilt um, nail polish on has ended up looking like this. I don't know if you can see the difference, but this one is completely matte. All the like writing on it has disappeared. So that's a bit sad because it's not looking its best, to be honest. <laughs> this one is called My First Copperware Party. And yeah, a cup of copper colour. Um, and the last one is called Dorian's Grey um, and that's like a, a, a grey, browny grey colour and I like all of those. Um, I also got a Catrice Made to Stay a Long Lasting Eyeshadow in the colour Mauvey Star and also a more like a silvery mauve colour uh, which is really nice but really really glittery. Alright so moving on to a bit of nail products from Essence which is also a German brand. Um, I got this nail art special effect topper called Circus Confetti and this is just like a multicoloured glitter like quite large particles of glitter. Um, I don't have any of these um, like when everyone was going on about like the Deborah Lippmann um, happy birthday and stuff and all the dupes and all the similar sort of polishes came out after that. I never got around to buying one because I'm just weird. But uh, this is like a multicoloured glitter um, and it's alright. Uh, I also got another special effect one and this is called Hello Hollow uh, and it's just like a silver holographic uh, nail polish. It's what I've got on my fingers now. Another special effect topper called Night in Vegas. This is sort of like a, a flaky almost. Yeah, I think this is like a flaky. I haven't tried it. It looks nice though. Um, and more nail stuff. I got the Essence Stampy Set. Again, if I get into nail art, we'll see. <laughs> I also got this, which I thought was quite a good idea. Um, it's, this is the Essence Peel Off Base Coat, it comes like in the little box where you can just pull it out like that. Um, you put this on your nails and it's like white and you leave it on for about 15 minutes it says uh, to let it dry, then it dries clear, you put a nail polish on top and then when you've had it on and you don't want to have it there anymore, you can just peel it off. Now this is something I would not use uh, just with normal nail polish because like why why would you um but for glitter nail polish this is perfect um because everyone hates removing glitter nail polish don't they and uh, with this it's just so easy just pull it off uh it doesn't last like forever i had mine on for about two two days i think two and a half days um also from essence i got this volumizing lash powder it's still in this box i have used it these are like fibers that you you put a coat of mascara on um put i uh, use the ones here to put fibers on the brush and then brush that through and then cover them up with another coat of mascara and it's supposed to lengthen volumize it, your lashes and it's similar to a product from too faced um i can't remember what it's called like better than false lashes or something i think um i can't get these fibers to stick to my lashes I don't know what it is so if anyone has these or similar products please let me know what I'm doing wrong because they they just I feel like just falling off they're just falling off when I try to push them in and just like my face is covered in white fibers good idea though and I bought quite a few of those because I thought they were going to be amazing um as well as the peel off top coats I think I bought four of those I've given uh some away to my friends but you know <laughs> uh, I also got two lip glosses uh, Essence extra 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 large shine these are the same but the top one is like all peel like matte and because of the nail polish remover um, this is like a nudie gold nudie shade and it's called glamour to go this one is just a clear one with lots and lots of shimmer in it and it's called bubble babe 
Um, these are quite nice glosses, but these don't give the most colour. I've got another one that I bought in America um, called Supergirl, I think, and that's really nice and uh, pink. So, um, yeah. Um, also, I got an eye pencil from Essence called I Love Rock. A gloss eye pencil. I'm hoping this is going to be similar to my Essence Black Mania uh, gloss pencil that I've used for, you know, I've mentioned that in my videos before um, and I'm hoping this is going to be the same, if not similar. Um, another thing I found while I was there and was really happy about was the Nivea lip petters because we don't have these in Norway um, and everyone's been going on about them, how amazing they are. I got the vanilla and macadamia one. I wanted to buy all of them, but I was good and I only bought one. Um, and the first few times that I tried this, I didn't like it at all. I thought, this is just Vaseline. I don't like it, it's just, it doesn't do anything for me. But the further, like down in the, like when I rubbed it properly and got further down, um, this is actually quite good. Um, and I've used quite a bit of it, you're probably not going to be able to see that. Um, but yeah, I like these now, so um, I do recommend. Um, another thing I was super happy to find, <laughs> therefore I bought, bought four, was the Rimmel Apocalypse um, Lip Lacquers. Um, these are quite new, I suppose, in the UK. Um, and don't get them in Norway. At least not yet. Um, so I was like, whoa, I need to try these because everyone's raving about them. So I got this one, which is called Apocalyptic, and it's a dark um, pink, really dark pink. In some light, this looked red. Like the first night I wore this, I thought it was like a red because on my lips it looked red. But um, after that, uh, it's looked pink. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, another one I got is this nude shade called Phenomenon. Uh, I could not find this on like the Boots website or anything, so I don't know. It might be in the UK or might um, they might have this in the UK, but I'm not 100% sure. They did have another nude shade, um, but not this one. Um, it's number 100 Phenomenon. Um, I also got number 501 Stella, which is a bright red shade. And I got 102 uh, Nova, which is a pink one. Um, I really like them as well. Um, and ended up wearing these like pretty much all the time while I was there. Because, you know, when you get excited about the product, you just wear it all the time. The last place I went to, and the one I'd been looking forward to the most, was Inglot. And in there, I'll start with the most exciting thing because this has been amazing. I got myself a 10 pan uh, palette from their Freedom System, uh, which is magnetized. Let me try and get it off. These are my shades. Um, all these sort of neutral colors on top and then some uh, purpley grays and towards black and white. Um, on the bottom, obviously we've got this burgundy shade up here. Um, which I've always wanted to try when and I just thought okay I'll put it in there and try and use it. <laughs> um, this one uh, is number 395 um, and I bought this because Amarique's uh, Alison, her name is, you probably all watch her on YouTube, she has been using this quite a bit in her tutorials and it always looks amazing. It's got an amazing shine on the lid and I thought I had to have that. When I saw it in person, I thought, oh my god, it's gold. I never wear gold. But when you put it on, it's not as, as gold, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll go through the numbers with you because I've put them all on the back like that. I can't get these out. They say that you're supposed to use um, the magnets on the tips here to get the, to get the thing out. But for me, it's not happening. So they're stuck in there. <laughs> This one is 395 um, and it's a pearl. This is 344 and it's a matte. 153 and it's an AMC Shine. Um, I think that was from Noble Collection, I think it was called. Uh, 363, which is a matte. 452, which is a pearl. 
453, uh, which is a pearl, 152 AMC Shine, also from the Noble Collection, 420 pearl, 434, which is pearl, and 63, um, which says AMC, but it's pretty much matte. Um, yeah, it's matte black. So I really love this. Um, it's just and in Poland because Inglot is a Polish brand this was like so cheap about 27 pounds 27 28 pounds for all all these which I think is so good because each shadow is just really big it's two and a half grams I think uh, per shadow I'm not 100% sure on that but I think so um, so really good I also got an Inglot uh, Dura line which I'd uh, seen that like these get good reviews it's just like a mix and medium um I haven't used it but I thought I'd pick it up because it was like four pounds I think I also got uh two eyeliner like gel eyeliners because they get really good reviews uh one is just um, a black one and I haven't opened that because I'm trying to use up the one I'm using at the moment before I open it that's the way I am I'm very good at trying to use up stuff before I open new things <laughs> and I also got this in number 93 which was also from the Noble collection and this is like a really nice um, silvery brown color oh so hard to describe and it's beautiful and I tried using that as like an eyeshadow a cream eyeshadow and they're so good because they stay on all day I didn't put any eyeshadow on top of it and it lasted all day so that was really good. I also picked up some brushes which are still in their packaging, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this one is number 3P and it's just like a really small blush brush like that. Um, and then I got number 80HP which is like a normal uh, pencil brush and then I got number 19P which is a blender brush. Um, they also sent, gave me two free sponges that I haven't used yet. That is it. I am so sorry that this was so long and I try not to talk too much but I always do so anyway if you've got any requests for any videos that you want me to do or like I said any questions or anything you want like um, more reviews on um, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye! For eyeshadows, I was really good and I only brought my Too Faced uh, Naked Eye palette.